Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about BCD adder. BCD stands for binary coded decimal adder. Binary coded decimal adder. Binary coded decimal adder. BCD stands for binary coded decimal adder. So what is the significance of this by BCD? BCD when you are performing addition between two numbers A and B the result should be less than or equal to 9 result should be less than or equal to less than or equal to 9 okay suppose what happens if the result is greater than 9 if the result is greater than 9 then we need to add 6 Okay, this concept we have already seen in the beginning of this subject STLD. What do you mean by BCD and how to add the 6? Okay, so when you are adding uh, A and B to 4 bit numbers, if the result is greater than 9, then if result is greater than 9, then we should add 6 to the we should add 6 to the result we should add 6 to the result suppose what happens if the carry is generated after adding 6 that carry should be ignored that carry should be ignored if any carry is generated if any carry is generated After adding 6, then ignore it simply. Okay, this is the concept behind this BCD adder. So, in BCD adder, when we are having two 4 bit numbers addition, if the result is greater than 9, then we have to add 6. If the result is less than 9, then we no need to do anything, just the result is directly that is the final result. Uh, if not, if any result if any uh, result is greater than 9, then we have to add 6. What do you mean by 6? 6 is nothing but what in binary format it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This value should be added to the result. Okay. Uh, now, we need to implement that concept using using the 4 bit parallel adder in the cascaded format 4 bit parallel adder is nothing but 74 ls 83 okay so we need to construct the circuit using 4 bit parallel adder 4 bit parallel adder it is already available in ic format it is already available in IC format that is nothing but IC 74LS83. Okay, uh, regarding this IC 74LS83, I already given you the introduction and how to construct and how to cascade also in the previous video. <coughs> okay, uh, suppose if when two four bit numbers, two four bit numbers are added. When two four bit numbers are added, then the result is then if the result is then if the result is greater than nine greater than nine. See here we are having yes four yes three. S2, S1, S0. So decimal number, decimal number greater than 9 means 10. 10. 10. 10. S4 is 0. Carry the last number. And mm -hmm. here 10, 11, 11, 0, 0, 11, 0, 1, 11, 1, 1, 0 and next 1 1 1 1 
so until then all these are zeros after that what we will be having one four zeros one four zeros the decimal number corresponding to this one is 10 it is 11 this is 12 13 14 and 15 okay so these are the outputs for which we need to add 6 okay if the result is greater than 9 means 10 1 0 1 0 one thing you need to observe here one thing we need to observe here for all these numbers s3 value is 1 for all these numbers s3 value is 1 and either s2 or s1 is 1 look the table properly okay see here for all these values if i say the number is the result is greater than 9 if i say the result is greater than means s3 is 1 and and another case is either s2 or s1 is 1 okay so the result is result means bcd addition result result is greater than 9 means the result is greater than 9 means means first one s3 is equal to 1 s3 pin is equal to 1 and and second case is and it is and and second case is either s2 or s1 is 1 either s2 or s1 is 1 okay see here s3 and s2 or s1 okay keep this point in mind because we are going to add 6 only if this particular case is proved okay so we need to add if the above case is occurred okay because it is a circuit whenever the result is generated automatically automatically the 6 should be added and automatically the result should be generated that is the way we are going to design the circuit we are not going to add we are not going to check whether the result is greater than 6 or not so automatically after a, we are giving just inputs a and b after giving the inputs automatically the bcd result will come out that means internally it has to check whether the result is greater than 6 or not, is greater than 9 or not. If it is greater than 9, automatically it adds the 6 and gives the overall output. In that way, we need to design the circuit. Okay. So, the design of BCD adder is shown here. We need two 4 bit parallel adders. One 4 bit parallel adder is for addition between A and B, and another 4 bit parallel adder is for adding 6 to the result. Okay. So, first 4 bit parallel adder. This concept is very easy but somewhat logic. 4 bit parallel adder. So, 4 bit parallel adder has an IC number IC74LS 83 and it has the inputs, 4 inputs here and 4 inputs here. Okay, so B0, B1, B2, B3. A3, A2, A1, A0 along with these two we are giving the carry C0 carry from the lower position adder this is carry from the lower position adder carry from lower position adder ok now after adding these two we are having the result like S0, S1, S2, S3. Okay. 
So if this is S0, S1, S2, S3 and now we need to check whether S3 is greater than 1 or uh, sorry S3 is 1 or not. If S3 is 1 definitely it is greater than 1. Along with S3 we should also say that either S2 or S1 or 1. So that's why S3 should be and with S3 should be and with R operation between S2 and S1. Okay. At the same time, we need to give these S0, S1, S2, S3 to the next 4 bit parallel ladder. So it is 4 bit parallel ladder. So this is S0. S1, S2, S3. So we are adding to the next stage. Okay. And here the input carry C0, this is 0 because here it, this carry has no significance in our addition. This carry has no significance in our addition. That's why it is simply 0. Okay, now the output of this one again should be ordered with, again it should be ordered with the carry. See, if at all any carry is generated after 4 bit addition, then also we can say that it is greater than 9. Okay. So this is the carry which is C4 which is C4 okay the output of this one is X if this X is equal to 1 if this X is equal to 1 this is added to the next stage see here I am adding at the remaining two are zeros see this is 0th bit and this is x bit x bit and again it is 0 0 g 0 if any carry is generated in the first stage or if either s1 or s2 and s1 either s2 or s1 and s3 if any of these are ones then again one is generated from the output and automatically 0 double one zero will be added to the next stage so that the sum the result which is occurred from the first ic first 4 bit adder is added with 6 so that the final result of BCD adder will come out. Okay. So it is the final sum which is BCD addition. Which is BCD addition. Okay. This is the carry to the next BCD adder. Carry to the next BCD Adder. Suppose if you are having one more BCD adder, suppose I am having 4 bit addition, uh, 8 bit addition, then this carry will be the input for the next adder. See, when you are performing, let us consider, for example, for example, I am having 1100, okay, uh, see, 1000, or simply, uh, okay, this is first example. 1 0 0 0 okay so when you are adding these two when you are adding these two it is 8 it is 8 both are bcd numbers it is 8 it is 8 both are bcd numbers 0 0 0 and 0 1 here the carry is generated see if if these two are the inputs a and b for this particular first adder when you are adding a b carry is 1 of course sum is zeros all these are zeros it does not have any problem with this sum but the carry is generated as the carry is generated this one will make you how x as one x as one so this one again added to this then result is added as 0 1 1 0 and the result is 0 1 1 0 the result is 6 
okay suppose another example i am taking another example for example second example uh, 1 0 uh, 0 1 1 0 that should be greater than uh, 9 okay 5 6 let us consider 5 and <coughs> Let us consider 5 and 6. So 0, 1, 0, 1. 6 is nothing but 0, 1, 1, 1. Sorry, 7. Okay, 5 and 7. Okay, in this case, this is 5. A is 5 and B is 7. So 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1. This is 1. Okay, now see the result. It is the sum value it is the sum value see this is s naught this is s1 this is s2 and this is s3 see here the result is greater than 9 the result is greater than 9 it is 12 it is 12 which is greater than 9 so what we need to do see here s3 is 1 s2 is 1 s1 is 0 and s0 is 0 we need to add 6 but how the system knows 1 1 double 0 apply here 1 i am taking with red color 1 1 0 0 so 1 1 0 0 this is 1 so this and gate is having input 1 and this here r gate is having input 1 and it is 0 so this is 1 and the result is 1 carry 0 but it is an r gate so it is 1 then also 0 1 1 0 is added here 0 1 1 0 is added to the result so 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 then what is the result 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 this is discarded so this is the final result sorry this is the final result okay so in this way the 4 bit bcd adder is designed 4 bit bcd adder is designed by taking this additional logic this is the additional logic circuit diagram which decides the main operation okay this is the main logic diagram main logic okay thank you